also create a big selector around the part of your lightsaber that you're basically going to be altering. So now you're going to want to go to select and then none. So you won't have a big selector around your lightsaber. Next we're going to want to create another two layers. Not new ones, but we're going to duplicate this lightsaber one. So right click and go to duplicate layer and then duplicate the copy of that layer. All right. So now we're going to add a blur effect to this. Go to your lightsaber, the second uh, layer here, and then go up to the filter uh, box up here and go to blur and then Gaussian blur. Now a box should appear and it'll give you a preview. Now you're just going to have to scroll up and down here, but um, you're going to want to change the blur radius horizontal. You're going to want to change it to five and vertical five. Well, it already sets it for you. And you're going to want to make sure the blur method is set on I, I, R. Hit OK. And that should blur your first layer slightly. Next, go to your third uh, layer. Go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And then this time, we're going to set it to 20. Now, don't change the vertical. Keep it at 5. And uh, once again, make sure the I, I, R is selected. Hit OK. And that should blur your third layer. And now for the fourth layer, do the same thing, blur, and then Gaussian blur, except this time, change it to 40, and then hit this little arrow here, uh, this little symbol, sorry, to change both of them to 40. And last but not least, the IIR has to be selected. Click OK, and it will be blurred much more than the rest of the layers. Now we're going to combine most of the layers. We're going to merge them down, basically. So go to your fourth layer, the top one here. Right-click and go to Merge Down. Now this should leave a black screen with your white lightsaber. And you're going to want to change the mode to Screen, which should leave it back to normal. Next, you're going to want to do the same thing for the third one. It leaves you with the black with the white lightsaber. Go down to Screen and back to normal. So don't merge it down once again, just leave it like that, the two layers here. And you should have a white lightsaber. Now if you just want uh, the default color, which is white, as your lightsaber, then you can basically just stop the tutorial here. But if you want something like a green, blue, or red lightsaber, or even different colors, it all depends which you one you want, I would suggest continuing. So now you have to go to colors, and then color balance. Now this is where the part gets fun. So I'll just move this over for a bit so you guys can see. And there's three different ranges you could select from. Shadows, midtones, and highlights. I'll start off with the midtones. And let's say I want a green lightsaber. I'll lean it more towards the green area. So it looks something like this. Actually, I'll make it 100 here. So it looks really nice. I'll add a bit of red into that. Alright, you can't really see it because I haven't put much of it. And some yellow to make it a bit brightening. Actually, no, I'll give it a bit of blue. Now we'll go to highlights. We'll add some green to make it more vibrant, as you can see here. It looks like Yoda's lightsaber. Alright, that looks good, I find. And shadows, we'll add some more green here. And that looks really nice. So I'll click OK. And there you have it. You successfully made your own lightsaber. Now to save it, just go to file save as and the save menu is a bit different than what you're usually uh, using here you can select the file type that you're going to be saving it as so you can choose like a GIF, a GIMP a bra um, I image but you can only open it with the GIMP uh, program uh, HTML which is sort of weird, a JPEG which I usually use or a PNG image and then you just name it up here lightsaber.png and down here just click save saves it for you and there you have it you successfully created your first lightsaber with jimp i've hoped you've enjoyed this tutorial please comment rate and subscribe and check out scratch talk videos for more tutorials like this one thank you